And it takes God, my Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Now I'm talking about. And a lot of rappers scared to talk about that. But guess what? I'm not them. The highly anticipated Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is finally here. It's been a week since this album been out, and I've been fiending for a new Kendrick Lamar album to come out. I've been waiting for it five years, and now Kendrick has finally dropped. But this Kendrick Lamar is a different Kendrick Lamar. i never seen a Kendrick Lamar like this before. Now, I'm not saying I know Kendrick personally, because I don't know him on a name-to-name -name basis. I don't know him like that. I don't know Kendrick Lamar at all. I only know Kendrick by his music like a lot of his fans do but the way Kendrick is talking on this album I never heard Kendrick Lamar talk like this before and it got me thinking hmm what was his influence behind this what is his meaning behind this from the album cover to the NI5 music video to the lyrics that he's saying on the album the words that he's saying what is Kendrick Lamar getting out of here I really want to know I have two theories and my main question is, what happened to Kendrick Lamar? I know, as believers, we want the top artists, the top athletes, the top movie stars, the top whatever in any industry, whether you're talking about science, whether you're talking about mathematics, whatever it may be, we want the people in the top fields in any category to be believers in Christ. We want that so bad as believers, and we will push this idea on anybody that mentions Christ's name. But I think Kendrick is a little different because back in 2015, Kendrick Lamar said this. And it takes God, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now I'm talking about. And a lot of rappers scared to talk about that. But guess what? I'm not them. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Other rappers are scared to talk about this, but I'm not them. That was Kendrick Lamar in 2015 at a concert. This is not an article. This is not a blog. This is Kendrick Lamar saying it out of his own mouth. And now we see him posing on the album cover with the crown of thorns at um, when I first saw it, I said, oh, what is he really getting at? I really didn't even know how to explain it. I was like, Kendrick, what are you getting at? And then the N95 music video drop, and he's hovering over water like this savior type figure. I'm like, Kendrick, what are you trying to tell us? What are you trying to tell us? And I got two theories of how Kendrick Lamar is communicating on this album. And I think um, one of them is right. I think one of them is right. Let's get into it. Let's get into the video. Kendrick Lamar always had religious themes in his music. From Section 80, he was telling us about this. I can talk about God, history, girls, and all in one sentence. And you wonder why he's saying that he's not an activist. Now, on um, Mr. Morale, he's telling you, hey, I'm not that activist. I'm not that woke rapper at all. That is not me. And, of course, you move on to Good Kid, Mad City. Good Kid, Mad City was an amazing album. When the song, when the first song that comes on Good Kid, Mad City, it starts with literally a prayer. It starts with a prayer. Lord God, I come to you a sinner and I humbly repent. Like that's where his album starts off at. And it goes into that Shireen song, him talking about he met this girl during the summertime, all that religious theme. And Dying of Thirst, another heavily influenced religious song will heavily influenced our christian ideas in that song kendrick lamar said he's dying of thirst and the lady at the end of the song comes say you young man are dying of thirst you need living water you need to be baptized with the spirit of the lord might have been somebody grandma on that track and then they have they have the of course the sinner's prayer on there i literally used to play the first track of good kid mad city every time i got in the car literally just because it started off with that prayer and that was something different that was something unique that kendrick brought and i guess a lot of times as believers we were looking at this man like wow kendrick is probably a christian he might be struggling in some areas but he looked like he might profess faith in jesus for real for real starting off with that song do you hear dying of thirst the sinner's prayer and all that i'm not saying just because somebody says the sinner's prayer they are a believer but kendrick lamar always have these religious themes in his music and then you go to how much a dollar costs on, oh my goodness, how much a dollar cost is a heavily influenced 
Christian have heavily influenced Christian ideas in it. Okay, it goes on to talk about this poor man and Kendrick. Kendrick got all this money. He don't want to give to the poor man. And then at the end of the song, he said, you lost your place in the heaven, knowing your worth. I am God. He start talking about like how you can just open up Exodus 14. A humble man is all that we really need. You see all those themes in that Kendrick Lamar song on how much a dollar costs. And then you go to the album. Damn, it's definitely influenced with all type of Hebrew Israelite ideas and that. And then you go to Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. And it's like, what is Kendrick getting there? He's praising Muhammad, then he's praying the trees, then he's saying, I'm not a Christian. His like religious view is just off the rails at this point. He's like, um, yeah, right now I'm 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 I don't know where I'm at right now. I'm kind of lost. I'm kind of lost right now. I'm still searching, I'm still seeking. I really don't know. I'm confused. That's what it seems like on Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Now, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, the first theory is that Kendrick Lamar is playing a character, Mr. Morale. And this character is the perception that we have of Kendrick Lamar, this savior type guy who's like savior of rap music, and he's this big activist and all that. And Kendrick Lamar is trying to say, hey, this is who y'all perceive me to be, but this is not who I really am. I think that's the character he might be playing on Mr. Morale in the Big Step is playing as Mr. Morale. This guy that has this high standard of living, and it seems like he cannot live up to it when he goes on into this um, album talking about his struggles, his time he cheated on his fiance, and all those different type of things as well, his addictions. So he's saying, hey, I'm not that guy, and he, oh, I'm not your savior. He said, I am not your savior. But then you look at the N95 music video that dropped, um, you get confused. Because Kendrick Lamar comes in hovering over water as a Christ-type figure, hands out, and a kid is sitting on the beach. He's like, he's the savior-type figure. Is he trying to say, hey, this is y'all perceive me to be, and this is who I cannot live up to? I cannot live up to Christ? Is he saying that in the songs? And then he goes on to say, I'm not a, I told you I'm a Christian, but not today. He's saying that he's a demigod. He says that he's praying to trees, and God is taking shape. So what is Kendrick Lamar getting at? Is Kendrick Lamar a savior or not a savior? But this first theory, I believe Kendrick Lamar may be trying to play a character character of Mr. Morale, people try to put him on his pedestal, say he's this good, morally good guy. He's this guy. He's this guy you shall follow and want to be like. He's trying to say, hey, that's not me. I am not that type of guy at all. And then on the N95 music video, you see on the screen that say this hard, like people trying to, he's trying to live up to this um, standard of living that people want him to be or this perception that people want him to be. He's trying to live up to that, and that's extremely hard to live up to, that type of perfection. That's hard. Maybe that's what Kendrick Lamar is getting at. I'm not really sure, but that's what it seems like in the music video. And then he's running away from people at the same time, and people are literally just chasing him. And he's saying, man, this hard, like the responsibilities of life and all that, this responsibility that they put on him to be this savior type figure, this Mr. Morale type figure, he cannot live up to it. Maybe that's Kendrick Lamar's message to us. Eckhart told it starts off with him this second theory now Kendrick Lamar has him as his therapist and he's on the album he's speaking on the album a little bit and I didn't know who this man was at all until I heard the album but you go look him up He's into a lot of new age. He was seen on Oprah Winfrey show. And that's when he started to pop, start to blow up and people starting to pay attention to his sayings. But he believes that there is no God, that we are gods and we can achieve this Christ like conscience, this Christ like being in us. If we stay in the present, if, you put two and two together, you see the crown of thorns on Kendrick Lamar's album cover. Maybe Kendrick Lamar is saying and getting this from his um, from Eckhart saying, hey, you know what? I'm trying to reach that divineness in me, that Christ in me. I'm trying to reach Christ consciousness, if you will say. Maybe that's what Kendrick album cover is pointing at. I think so. If you put 
Ed Carter together, the album cover together, and then you go to the N95 music video when Kendrick Lamar is hovering around over water as a Christ-type figure? Are you serious? And you put that together, maybe Kendrick Lamar is saying that he's looking for the divine in him, that Christ-type figure in him. And I think that's what Kendrick Lamar is getting at. But then it confuses you down the line in his other lyrics. He said, I'm praying to God, but thought you were God. I'm praying to the trees. Um, what, what, are you, what are you really getting at? And it seems like he's pulling from Eckhart. He's pulling these ideas, these themes about... Um, Christ from Eckhart and this is dangerous especially with new age it's so easy to slip in some little Christian thing like the new earth like of course that's a Christian theme and different things like that the divineness and all of these different terms we try to slip in um as Christian themes and now Kendrick Lamar is using it maybe he's getting bamboozled maybe he doesn't know what's really going on what's really happening right now because this was a guy in 2015 who professed faith in Jesus who had religious I mean deep Christian not religious but deep Christian ideas on good kid mad city to pimp a butterfly and I know on damn he went to like the Hebrew Israelite route and now he's on this new age route talking about hey I'm trying to reach Christ consciousness and this is dangerous, man. I don't know if Kendrick Lamar is aware of this. I don't know if he's getting tricked by this guy because this man has been doing it for a number of years. So, of course, he can find ways to make this seep in your head and make it seem like it's true because that's what people do who deceive. They know how to influence. They know how to add your ideas with their ideas and merge them together and make it seem like it's the same. So it makes sense why Kendrick Lamar is floating over water. It makes sense why Kendrick Lamar is trying to look like a Christ figure because he's trying to reach the, the divine in him. This Christ consciousness that he's pulling from Eckhart. I think that's what this whole album is about. It's coming from Eckhart. Even though Kendrick Lamar has on this album some good songs, some songs that's about his life, therapy, all of that. But usually Kendrick Lamar tells a lot of stories on his songs. And I thought when I first listened to this, I was like, man, maybe Mr. Morale is just a character. Maybe this is not the real Kendrick Lamar because before he plays Kung Fu Kenny and now he's playing Mr. Morale. But no, I don't think he's playing Mr. Morale. here. I think his therapist, Eckhart Tolle, is helping him out and putting him towards these new age practices and tell them hey christ is in us the divine is in us we are all gods you can extend to this higher level of consciousness and no that's not true that's not something that you can do and i believe that's what kendrick lamar may be getting at from this n95 music video and it makes sense you put the n95 music video together you put the album cover together with the crown of thorns it makes sense that Kendrick Lamar is pulling from Eckhart Tolle to be this Christ consciousness type guy. And that's not the Kendrick I knew from Good Kid Man City. That's not the Kendrick I knew from How to Pimp a Butterfly. Um, How to Pimp a Butterfly. That's not the Kendrick Lamar I knew from Damn. It's been changing over the years. And I know people change, but I'm praying that he makes a shift and get off this Eckhart Tolle guy who's like leading him down the wrong spiritual path, which is definitely wrong because that's what this album is getting at. It makes complete sense. It's a theory, 